Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 3 tells us this. It says, The refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. Now, uh, when you search for gold and you search for silver, you you dig it out of the ground or, or, you, or you carve it out of the side of the mountain. And whenever you get that gold or whenever you get that silver, there's always going to be impurities in it. And so what the refiner will do, he will put it in that intense heat. And as he puts it in that intense heat, he literally melts it. And as he melts it, he will then begin to separate the impurities. He'll get those impurities out of the gold or out of the silver and then set aside that pure gold or that pure silver to where it'll be in its pure form and it's far more valuable that way because it has all of those impurities uh, that are out of it. In fact, that's the way people want it. That's the pay, way people desire it. When we go to the jewelry store, we don't want to go and buy a, a, a gold necklace that has all kinds of impurities in it. No, we want to buy something uh, that is pure gold because it's far more valuable that way. It's far more beautiful. It's far more precious that way. Well, the same way with us. We, we, when we have impurities within our life, uh, we, we are far less valuable and, and, and it, it taints us. It brings us down. It brings our value down. It brings our desirability down. And, and when we begin to recognize that, when we begin to understand that, we need to have those impurities moved from away from our life. The Bible is saying right here in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 3, it says the same way that that refiner will go and he'll remove, you know, he'll put that gold and that, that silver and that intense heat and that intense fire and melt it down to where he will remove those impurities in the same way God does that with us. So let me ask you a question today. If you were to be put in the refiner's fire, would there be impurities within your heart today? Would there be impurities within your life? Are the things that you know of or the things that you're aware of that are in your life that need to be removed, that need to be gone? They, those impurities, they need to be out of your life to where when you stand before God, you stand as pure, you stand as holy. And friends, the reality is, yes, every single one of us have those impurities within our life. But praise God that we can come before God in the same way that refiner does it with the gold and with the silver. God does it with us. And in the eyes of God, we're worth far more than that gold and far more than that silver. We need to know the value of humanity. You need to know the value of you and how valuable and how precious you are in the sight of God. But those impurities devalue you, make you less less precious because those impurities bring you down and God wants to bring you up. And so we go before God, we go before his refining fire. And as we go before God, the Bible says here, in the same way that the refiner does, it says, but the Lord tests hearts. So has your heart been tested? So, well, I, I don't know if I have anything impure within my life. And if I do know of anything, in, or if, if, if I don't know of anything impure in my life, how am I going to know? Well, Psalmist said this, and, and, and it ought to be a prayer of our heart. It ought to be a prayer of our life. It ought to be a daily prayer of our heart and of our life. Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24 says this, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked ways in me and lead me in the everlasting way. Search me, God. Try me, God. There may be things in my life, and I, and I have no doubt, there's things in my life I'm not even aware of. But God, you test me. Your word says right here that you test me. That you put me to the test. When I come falling short, God, I want to know what those things are because I want to stand before you. I want to stand before you pure. I want to stand before you holy. I want to stand before you righteous. And yes, when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, our sins are removed from us as far as the east is from the west. But the reality is as Christians, we still allow impurities to come into our life. And we will stand before God as holy and as pure. And the Bible tells us, you know, John was talking to Christians. He called them his beloved children. 
He was talking to Christians. He called them brothers, brethren. He was talking to Christians when he said in 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9, confess your sins. If you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So we need to come before God on a daily basis and say, God, search me. God, try me. God, look inside of me and see if there's any wicked ways in me whatsoever. Allow them to fester to the surface and remove them where I can stand pure and holy before you, a pure and holy God.